Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So, we are checking out one system today from the user Rusty in Discord, so a massive thank you to them for sending in their system. And yeah, without further ado, let's hop straight into this. So their system is called the uh, Sol Solinunium? Solunium system. Let's go ahead and check it out. So workshop, it should already be on the subscribe tab. There it is there. Okay, let's see what we have got here. Right. Ooh, okay. So, after the death of the solar system 8 billion years prior, uh, the two lackey, so evolved humans, remade the solar system using their technology. A lot of old planets remain, most of them being scorched to the bone. Okay. Interesting. So this is what's left of the Earth and Moon. Terra and Luna. So obviously that's the Moon and Earth. So this is what is it? So this is like the far, far future of um, the solar system. Our solar system. So this is what's left of the original Earth. So, okay. So what have we got here? So this is quite interesting actually. So where are we? So, okay. You can see the planets are all jumbled up as well. Okay, interesting. So Sol 2. So this is the new sun. So it's not as big as the original. Nowhere near as bright. There's the zone. So we have a new gas shine that's formed from the remnants of the original sun. So, okay, interesting. New Terra. So this is a new Earth-like world that's formed in the remains of the original solar systems. Okay. Nice. So a new Earth was able to rise after the old Earth was scorched to a crisp. So there we go. So very good stats on it as well. Looking good. And it has a new lunar as well. A new moon to go with it as well. Very nice. Got some city lights going on there as well. Excellent stuff. Okay. Right. So now taking a big jump. So we've got this world here. So I'm guessing this is what was once known as Jupiter. Zeus. Well, that's obviously the Greek god, not the Roman god. Or king of the gods. Obviously, Jupiter's the king of the gods in Roman mythology. Zeus is the Greek king of the gods in Greek mythology. So, this is Jupiter. Or what, what was once Jupiter. Io still remains. Very cool. Uh, Ganymede. So, Ganymede. So, we've lost Europa and Callisto. They've been lost to time. Okay. Then we've got Neptune over here. So... Still looks fairly the same. as it. Yeah, it's the same old Neptune. Okay, it's got a ring system, though. Very cool. No moons. Triton would have been long gone at this point. If this is in the far, far future, then, yeah, Triton would have been gone a long time ago at this point. So, I mean, what's it? Neptune and Triton, they're going to they're gonna have their little uh, event in about a billion years' time from now. So... Yeah, if this system is billions of years after the red giant sun exploded, then yeah, that Triton's been gone a long time. Um, then we have Uranus, which is now further out than Neptune. So let's have a look at it. So 16 AU. So Neptune's actually got closer then, because Neptune originally would have been about 30 AU. So not sure how it's managed to get closer, but there it is nonetheless. Uranus is roughly where it would have been, around 16 AU. Saturn's even further out than it used to have been. So for some reason, Saturn and Neptune have kind of swapped around, really. I mean, that seems to be... It would have made more sense for Neptune and Saturn to be the other way around, but there we go. So there's what's left of Saturn. Looks like Titan survived in some case. It's closer to Saturn as well than it would have been. So there it is. Let's have a little look underneath Titan. So there you go. Okay. Yeah, interesting stuff. Okay, and then also this over here. So we've got another star. And that's... I'm getting Mar Martinia. So that's what would have been Mars. So we've got another star here as well. Okay, interesting. So this is what would have once been Mars. So interesting. It looks like it's a Mars and Mercury texture kind of combined. That's quite a cool look, actually. Let's get a closer look. So that's obviously Mercury. Very Mercury looking. I'm definitely sure I saw something that looked like Mars on here, though. Whereabouts are we? There it is. You can see Mars's distinct feature there, the big canyon. So there's the volcanoes as well on a mercury texture that's quite a cool combination actually nice so they're over there and i think that's it for the whole system so let me just get the description up again i want to reread that so interesting right so what did it say so it said after the death of the solar system eight billion years prior so this is eight billion years after the sun's death so if you think about it 
the solar system is currently about 4.6 billion years old, isn't it? So, 1 billion years on, that's where the red giant stun would have destroyed all life on Earth. But you need to get all the way up to another... Well, it's estimated that what's it, the sun's got another 6 to 8 million years left, roughly, isn't it? So... This is over, yeah, I'd estimate this is over 16 billion years from the present day, um, ish, something around that, so, yeah, pretty crazy stuff. Yeah, around around the year 8 billion, I guess, is when the sun would go boom, so this is another 8 billion years after that, so a lot of time has passed, so interesting. Interesting the Earth and the Moon are still together, because in theory the Moon would have probably drifted away at this point if it even survived. Um, the red giant sun. So whereabouts? So is this? Where is this? Uh, is this still about one AU? Thirteen AU away. Okay. So the, yeah, the original Earth and Moon have got a really big orbit now. Okay, so they've been pushed out very far. Of course, we've got new Terra. So that's orbiting at ten months. That's actually closer. We've got the new star as well, which isn't as luminous. This object here. So that's a new gas giant. Okay, that's Jupiter. So Jupiter's merged. It got closer as well. So they remade the solar system using their technology. A lot of the old planets remain, most of them being scorched to the bone. Interesting. So it doesn't mention anything about that second star that's emerged as well, which is interesting. But there we go. That's cool. That is interesting, though. So we have a new star in the middle. But I guess this would have formed in a different place. It wouldn't have been in the exact same space as the original sun. So, yeah, interesting stuff. But yeah, there we go. But yes, there's still, um, I wish there was kind of more description, that's just some feedback. I wish there was kind of more description about how Uranus and Saturn and Neptune are all in the wrong places and how Mars ended up over around another star. How did, I, I want to know more. It's kind of left me wanting to know more, um, I have to say. But yeah, either way, interesting nonetheless. Interesting system. Yeah, I want to know, how did Mars end up there? Because Mars obviously would have been in between Earth and Jupiter at one point, eight billion years prior. So how did Mars, Mars get all the way over there, but Earth... This remained there, and then obviously Neptune's now close to Earth. How? How? I want to know why. So yeah, I've got a lot, a lot. Um, I'd still like to learn, but unfortunately, there's no more description. But yeah, an interesting concept nonetheless. So again, a massive thank you to the creator of this system, Rusty, for sending this in. Um, make a part two. I want to kind of know more. I want to know more description. How did the planets end up like that? That, that's definitely some feedback I'd give you there. But, um, yeah, anyways, a massive thank you again to them for sending this in. And, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this um, pretty wild ride in this uh, desolate future, then, yeah, let's uh, go for that like button. Let's see if we can get 60 likes on today's video as well, guys. And, yeah, that all said and done. Actually, just before we finish, is this a white dwarf? I think I've just figured it. This is a white dwarf star. Interesting. That's That, that must be the original sun. It's got to be. Or what's left of it. Huh. And that's all the way over here. So if this is the original sun and that's Mars there. Let's see here. Where's this orbit? In? So that's roughly around Mars's original orbit. How did the rest of the planets get over here? Hmm. This is the original this is definitely the original sun, and that's Mars roughly in its original sort of orbit. So how did Earth and the other planets get all the way over here? They did say, it did say, I mean, the description did say about, oh, they're using their technology to rebuild it. I guess you could say that sort of clarifies it, but I still would like to know more. But anyways, yeah, enough of that. Um, with that all said and done, again, massive thank you um, to, to the guy for sending that in. So, yeah, that was uh, Rusty. And, yeah, guys, make sure you stay safe out there. Press that subscribe button if you haven't already. Like button as well. Like I said, 60 likes. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.